there, welcome to Dad Does, and today we are excited to be reviewing the Zur Aurora Book Scanner. So just showing it to you in the box here, we're gonna unbox it quickly and get into it, but just wanna show it to you, but just a well-designed, and it actually won a Red Dot Award in 2018. And I'm gonna open it up for you real quickly to show you what you get. So you get your manual and instructions in here. We'll get back to that. But just, it's, it's nicely packaged, so I wanted to show you that. And the whole idea here, and we're of course gonna show you this when I take it out, is that pretty simple to set up and use book scanner and really quickly you can just kind of flip through pages it's scanning it you know some of us still have books and this is a great way to scan them in so let's get it all set up and show you how it works all right so as i said don't want to spend too much time on the whole unboxing but just want to show you what it comes with i'm going to get back to all this i want to show you the main part which is the aurora book scanner right here looks really cool like i said red dot design uh, design award winner uh, functions as a light as a scan we're going to show you more in detail but that's the main part right there let's just go over some of this other stuff here so you know what's going on here these are pretty cool you might be wondering what are these for this is i'm going to show you the little finger covers and the way it works is so like if you're holding down the side of the pages, the software knows to key these things out. They have little symbols on it and knows to key them out. So it's a way for you to hold down the pages and then this disappears. Uh, so that's just a, a cool little thing. You might be wondering like, how's the book gonna stay flat? And you use these finger, they call them, um, they call them finger cots uh, for book scanning. Other things here, this is a foot pedal. So again, this is all about speed. You're turning pages, click with your foot, scan, click with your foot, scan. So you got the foot pedal. Nice little piece here, our AC adapter we'll use here in the US, but if you're in another country, it comes with additional adapters for different power supplies in different countries. So that's nice, it comes with that. It comes with your USB cable to hook it up. This part here is an additional side lamp. Uh, we're gonna hook that up so you can see it, but provides additional light. There's some modes where you have something's really glossy, you might not want, we're gonna show you this as it folds down, might not want the overhead light on it. So this kind of side light can help with that. And then this final piece here is just a mat, which we're gonna roll out. You gotta do your scanning on that mat. So there you go, let's set it up. We'll show you more about it. All right, so we have the Aurora Pro set up. Just wanted to show it to you because I think it's really beautiful. Other thing I should point out is it's not just a scanner, it's a table lamp as well. So I'm gonna go over that, but showing you on top here is a little LCD screen. We'll get to that when we do scanning. Just gonna give you a nice kind of look at it. The reason why I see all these wires here, what I have going is this is our foot pedal. Normally that would be on the ground, but just have it here. This is kind of what's hooked up to our computer. Um, AC power in back, this mat right here. But just wanted to show you because I just really like the look of it. I'm gonna show you, this does fold down as well. So I'm gonna try to do this with one hand, a little bit tricky, uh, but there you go. So, I mean, it can go like this for storage, but again, what's cool about it is you can put it um, up, when it's up like that, of course, for scanning, but also just a great reading light, you know, if you wanna be reading by it. So let me set it back up, we'll take you through all the functions. All right, so let's show you how this functions. You hold down the button to turn it on, and the mode it goes into, see how the lights here, this means you're in the smart light mode. This would be the scan over there. So we're gonna start out in the smart light mode. So as you see, there is a light here, okay? <laughs> I just wanna show you a couple other things here. You can change by dialing this, this might be a little bit hard to see, but change it, make it dimmer or brighter. So you've got just like a, a nice smart light right here, controllable right there. I'm gonna actually shoot up in here just so you can see a little bit the lights in there changing. Okay, there's one other kind of interesting thing I wanna show you, and that is there is also an app. So if you want to change things, like I'm gonna to go to natural light, and hopefully you can see that. Let me do it again, I'm gonna to go to reading, writing. You can see just the color temperature is changing, uh, computer phone, and a night light. And so it goes to just a very dim light now. So what's neat is that it's doing that by sound. So there's no Bluetooth, but just kind of a cool little app thing if you want to change the different modes. I can also say I'm in natural light, change the brightness of it, make it brighter or less bright. Again, this might be a little bit hard to see on video, but you'll have to take my word for it. So just different color temperatures and different ways that you can do this. Um, of course, you can uh, probably easiest if you're sitting right there just to use this right here. But what we're gonna go over and talk more about, so, okay, that's the smart light, just nice light you wanna read, great, we got that figured out. Press this button again, and then we go into scanner mode. So we're gonna hook this up into the computer and show you the key features here to scan. One other part I just wanna show though is there are these side lights here, so I'm gonna tap back here, hopefully you'll see us, and then it turns on these lights and turns off the lights above. So again, that's if you have something really reflective, 
where direct to light when you're scanning might be an issue, you can come with these side lights. So just showing that, because I really think uh, Cezur has really kind of thought of all the different things here. So like the side lights, but sometimes direct light, as we know from filming, can be a problem. So um, I want to show you actually as I'm doing this, give me a little chance. Remember that LCD screen I spoke about? Oh, light's kind of tough here. So there it is on top. So it gives you a little preview. You know, it's not huge, but the idea is you want to make sure your book is fitting in here. So you've got, as you're standing over it and flipping the pages, you can see right here what you're doing. All right, let's get this set up and start scanning. All right, so I'm gonna to try to show you this. We have the scanner all hooked up, installed the software in the computer, have a book here. Um, we're just gonna try scanning, gonna use these cool little yellow things. It's a little tricky as I'm trying to do this so you can see both um, the LCD screen up here. It might be a little bit hard for you to see, but it's a little preview just so you know that the book is, is kind of in the window. Also, I'm gonna be cutting away to what I'm seeing on the computer in real time, as I'm showing you here. And so what's happening here is like, see that line going right down the middle? That's giving me my guidance. I want the book to be right down the middle. A couple of options there, I'm doing facing page. So the software, you can pick, you know, if you're doing just a flat page, one page you're facing, but I wanna do both sides of this. So I'm gonna do this, right? I've got my foot pedal set up here, and now I'm gonna use these cool things here to hold this. Uh, hopefully my arm won't get too much in the way there. And I'm looking and it all looks pretty good. And what I do is I just click the pedal and it scans. It's as quick as that, right? I've got my first page already, actually my first two pages. I would just turn this to the next page. So what I wanna show you is the speed of this because that's really the idea here is you look at it, you scan. And there's a lot of correction and stuff you can do over in the software. So that's pretty cool. I'm gonna show you that in a sec. I'm just gonna scan like maybe uh, these two more pages here just so I can show you. So again, cutting back to the software, we're looking to making sure that things are lined up. They are, you scan. Once you get into a pattern with it, it goes pretty quick. Um, what I'm gonna do now is I'm actually gonna just, we're done with that. I'm gonna take the camera and come over and just give you a better shot of the LCD screen real quick. So I just wanted to show you this. So here's the LCD screen. So what it allows for, is you'd have like a nice preview as you're standing over it, you're clicking with your foot, it's scanning, and again, it's about the speed of this, how quickly you can do this. Um, and on the, the computer, PC, Mac, whichever you're using, have software for both, you're seeing where that line is and uh, just helps you to, to line things up and scan quickly. All right, so I'm over here in the software and just want to show you a little, so um, I'm just gonna real quickly show you this so you can see. So that's the idea here, you're lining up that line right there and you're scanning. But let's go through and show you what we did here. So this is the scanner window. We're doing the scanner. We've got our images over here, right? We've got our modes here where we can um, do color correction, I want to make it grayscale, all that type of stuff. But we're done scanning, so I'm gonna hit back and show you the other part of the software here. So here are the images we just scanned, and I just wanna show you the quality of it. Really nice, and as you see, little finger things have disappeared. See, it's like a little hint there, but that won't show up as your OCR or anything. So that's what's cool about those little finger things, allows us to scan, look how it kind of flattened out the page, showing you the quality there. And you saw how quick that was. So that's kind of the way it works. A lot of other stuff here, you know, you can go in, you can select things, so you can crop, rotate, um, color mode, uh, reset, print OCR, which is cool. I'm gonna show you a little bit of that, manual correction. But one of the nice things I like is the batch modes over here. So if you wanna batch things, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and select all of my files, right? So let's say I wanna turn this all into a PDF real quickly. So I'm just gonna go ahead and pick PDF and we'll leave all this as is, combined output, yep. And we'll do 75%, just medium storage, average resolution, I'm gonna hit confirm, and we're gonna call this test three. All right, here we go, here's the PDF. So as you see, you know, it looks really nice, and you saw how quick that was. So again, you know, it depends what you need. Like there's a lot of stuff online, but maybe you have a book you just wanna scan in, but you wanna have as a PDF, a searchable PDF or OCR, any of that. Now it's possible, and you saw how quick that was. Turn the page, click, turn the page, click, and you're doing two pages at a time. Um, so as you see, all looks pretty good here. I'm gonna show you one more thing with the OCR. All right, so now let's say we wanna do a word, OCR it. So we wanna turn this from a graphic into that. So we have a couple options here. We're gonna pick English is fine. We're gonna leave this all as auto. I'm gonna hit confirm, and I'm gonna give this a name, test doc two. And it's gonna go ahead and do that. It says performing tasks. So it's OCR in all of this, turn it into a Word document. So just showing another way that you can use this. Okay, so here you go. Here is what it did right away. So as you see, I'm gonna zoom in a little bit. All right, so as we zoom in, we see the OCR is pretty good. You know, I mean, nothing's gonna be 100% perfect, but as you see, even some of the different things here, uh, the, the headings of it, the font, 
Um, all looking pretty good, you know, definitely usable. You might find, I'm looking over, you know, for any misspelled words, even got rhodiola rosea, which is a tough one because it's not in a dictionary. You know, a couple of things like in the header here, we could go in and correct, but as you see overall, you know, it just took me what, like a, a couple of seconds to, to do these. Uh, what do we got here? Six pages, OCR it, and within a minute or two, we got it all set. Now this is obviously a searchable document and all that. So pretty cool. You know, I just like the way it all works. And, and the foot pedal is huge because it's just so much easier. You just click, you're using your fingers to turn the pages, click, 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 and you got the pages scanned in. All right, and finally, just want to take you to their website because there's a lot of good information here about it. Um, you know, we could show it to you. There's a lot of technology going on underneath the hood, which you can't really see, so just wanted to show you some of that. So first, it does look really nice. Love the fact that it can be used as a smart lamp in addition to a scanner. Um, the other key thing going on here, which is maybe hard to see, is that technology that really flattens the page, and they're kind of illustrating it here. So yeah, it was curved, flashes uh, those lasers and then manage is to flatten the page. So that's pretty cool. And that's in there again, that's some of that technology, 32 bit CPU, a lot going on inside um, 14 megapixel camera. Just wanted to give you some of these specs here. You can of course go to their website and check all of this out. It's fast, you know, like we showed two seconds, you're scanning two pages. So that's really quick. Click that uh, foot pedal scan again. Um, can scan anything. We were showing a book, but obviously photos, scrapbook, whatever you want. A lot of different things you can do once you scan it in, in terms of OCR, or if you've got photos, um, you just want to put them in there. Um, we love that little screen on top, showing that here. So you're getting the idea, a lot more information here. Um, but just wanted to show you, because it's so elegantly designed, like it looks really simple, and you might be like, oh, this is kind of expensive, what, what's going on? There's a lot going on under the hood there. Uh, even the, the lamp has a lot of different color temperatures to prevent eye fatigue. And we like that because, you know, if you were gonna set this up just as a scanner on your desk, you might be like, well, I'm not gonna scan all the time, but you probably read a lot. So you can use it as a lamp. And then if you ever need to scan, you just click uh, your foot pedal and you're able to just start scanning things. So it has that app, you know, which is fine, uh, the night light. So I think you get the idea here. So really cool, we like it. You know, it's just one of those things, depends if you need it. If you've uh, been in a situation where you've got a book, a magazine, you're scanning a lot of stuff and it's a hassle and you really wish there was something that could flatten out a book and OCR and all that, then the Caesar Aurora Pro is for you. All right, that's our review. Thanks for watching. Hey guys, if you like what we're doing, please hit that big orange D in the middle to subscribe and then check out some of the other videos we think that you'll really love. Thanks so much for watching.